So I've just pulled up, looks like a top spot to cam, so just going to show you how easy the Swag SCT 13 Max is to set up just for an overnight. You could still have it on the vehicle, undo four clips on the outside, pretty easy. That's one. Got a nice locking clip on it, press that, drop it down. And this one, the last one, just use a, the uh, rock rail down here and the handle. Easy as. Now we'll go and open the door. Pull the step out and come inside in the van right now. I've cracked a couple of windows just to let some air in. That way you're not working against the vacuum effect as if you if it was all locked up, it'd be a little harder. So, bed's made up, perfect. I don't have to do anything about that. And as you can see, if you stopped on the side of the road, you can get in the van and move about and access things without having to pop the roof. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pop the roof. So, I'll just lie back on the bed. I'll push to the top. One hand to keep it going. And that's pretty good. Now, go to the back. Easy as that. All set up for the night. So if you just pop the roof, next thing you might want to do after a long day's travel is use the loo. Don't normally film myself sitting on a toilet, but here we go. I can shut the door. Normally I'd do that, obviously. Also use the shower here if I've got muddy feet or something. I can clean myself off that way. And this is a loo with a view. I'm looking out over the lake right now. And just on my right hand side is a nice little basin. Got a skylight with a vent. Let's have a look at the rest of the van. I'm standing on the step just outside the doorway. On my left hand side is the control panel for all the electrics, the water and everything else. You're able to see that all in one place, including water level, how much you've got left in your batteries, and you can access all the circuit breakers and the switches all in one place. My right hand side is some storage. Storage for, for hanging shirts, that sort of thing. You could utilize it for other things. And just below, I've got another storage area here. And that's two areas for things like towels or anything you like, really. And over here, we've got three nice pull-out drawers great catches to make sure they don't open on the move. Below and in front of me is a small sink. At night, you want to brush your teeth and uh, perfect, you don't have to go outside at all. So you're able to sit on the bed, but what if it's raining and you've got to be inside for some time and you'd like to sit at a table? Well, I've got a table just here with a bench seat and I can create space for, for two easily. Lift the mattress up. Just push it straight over. Lift the backrest up. And room for me and room for another person just there. Great. And I can just move this table around. Get my computer out. And watch my Netflix for hours. You might be in some places in summer, but other places in winter. So where do you put that big doona and other things? Right here. This is a really deep storage space, which will easily house dunas, blankets, all your cold weather gear. Um, plenty of space in there and easy accessible. And the beauty of, of the SET13 is there's plenty of storage inside, but there's also a lot of storage outside. So inside is really just meant for your personal items, your clothing, that sort of thing. Because outside you've got a pantry and you've got other storage areas where you can put all those other things, sporting things, chairs, all that sort of stuff that stay outside. So we've had a good look inside. Let's look at the kitchen. It's almost as good as home. Start from this side, we've got a prep area. We've got a four burner gas stove here with a cutlery drawer just below. And that's a full size cutlery drawer as well. We've got a nice deep sink with hot and cold water. So what about storage? 
Well, you've got a nice deep pull-out drawer here. That could be either pantry or for pots and pans. More preparation area here. And again, you've got a nice deep drawer. Shallow depth here though, and that could be for plates. It could be a pantry as well. So your choice. Over here you've got a large fridge. This will take up to a 90 litre Evercool fridge. So whatever size fridge, it will probably fit on this slide. And over there you can see the Weber. So you can barbecue over there as well. So get all those meat smells, smoke, away from the inside of the van. Very nice kitchen, very big, plenty of prep area, and uh, be very easy to live with and, and cook a gourmet meal with. So invite me around next time. So overall, this kitchen is an L shape. You can have a 240 outlet here. We've got some 12 volt outlets there, which is great. But what it does, it allows you to walk between fridge, all the pantry and storage areas, to the stove, another prep area, all without bumping into anything. So you can have multiple people in this, this um, kitchen. Another nice thing about it is it's all undercover. The main area you'll be is just here. And so that's undercover, you're not gonna get wet. And just over here, there's a nice clear space. So you're able to put a table and chair. So again, sitting undercover, whether that be shade or for the rain. You don't have to put fridges in or anything like that to go and sit and eat your meal. So it's, it's well designed, functional, well thought out, and it'd be a pleasure to use out in camping. So bottom line, if you're looking for a hybrid camper with a lot of Australian componentry and workmanship, and also a, a Australia-wide warranty, this could be the, the one for you. It also comes in at a maximum two and a half ton, so it's easily towable by your Prados and other vehicles. And it's easy. It's easy to set up, it's easy to live with, it's easy to tow. So what more could you want?